Hi, Geminis. So, thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So, take the dust and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need is going to be down in the comment section listed below. All right, Geminis. Let's see. All right, so we have the chariot. We're gonna go. Where are we going? Have we been on the move? Have we been doing some things? We're trying to run from sadness. Some of us can't sit with ourselves without thinking about shit that's happened, without getting sad, without feeling a bit of depression. Yeah, we're, we're overthinking something that, that's not coming for us, that's not happening. Something that we really want, something that we're trying to move towards, but we don't know how to manifest it. Five of Cups, there's a lot of sadness for you guys. I don't know why you guys are so sad, but people are sad. Some, A lot of my Geminis are sad in, in their heads about something. Maybe somebody passing away, someone moving on. Doesn't necessarily have to be somebody passing on for everybody. It could just be a movement of somebody who's not around you anymore, not in your presence. It could be somebody, something that you, somebody that you are waiting to come in. It could be some of you wanting to manifest somebody coming in, a random person, somebody that you don't know, just love overall, and it's not happening, and you're stressed about it. Different messages for different people. However, the main story is you're in your fucking head about something that's just not going your way or that didn't go your way. Yeah, and I feel like it's causing a lot. Yo, somebody's very heartbroken here. My Geminis are very conflicted. Some of you guys are getting a bit depressed. Some of you guys are trying to act as if you're not, but you are, and you are heartbroken. Some of you guys are getting numb to feelings because you're so heartbroken. And I feel like some of you are sad about how your life is. Which is yeah, wanting to be happy. Wanting to be happy. Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, but I don't want to talk about him right now. Because that could be why a lot of you guys are sad. But we're not, we're not even going to introduce that character. We're going to talk about you right now. You have to get through this. I feel like some of you are sitting in a very pessimistic state. Yeah. But you guys, all right, let's just say. Okay, Spirit, tell me. What is it that Gemini is not seeing or understanding? What is it that Gemini is not seeing or understanding about themselves? What is it that Gemini is not seeing or understanding about themselves? You're holding yourself back from love. I feel like... There, for some of you, there are people that you could be connecting with, but you're not connecting with these people because perhaps you're just holding back altogether. You're not putting yourself out there. Yeah, I feel like some of you don't even know where to start. It's like, I don't like, I'm like, maybe you guys feel like you're trying. I'm always getting the energy of, of people saying I'm trying, but spirit is like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. Just thinking about it. Like, you may be reaching out to a few people, but you're you're reaching out to dead ends. The people that you like are dead ends. And the reason why they're dead ends is because you're manifesting wrong. Some of you are dating people that juggle other people. A manipulator, somebody that has a wife, the empress, somebody that has a husband, somebody who shows you love, but they're already in a connection. They hold back from you certain shit. Oh, anyways, 
Yeah, look, the Knight of Wands came back out. Didn't we say we wasn't going to address this motherfucker? Well, now we got to address him. A player. A lot of you are dating players. Okay? I am not exempt. I'm, I date players. You know they players. You know they cause conflict. You got to let them go. But they fun. Or they just won't go away. Okay? So let's see. Spirit, please give Jim and I some advice. Please give Jim and I some advice moving forward. What what can Jim and I do moving forward to move forward? Stop stop being so impatient about finding somebody new. This is the same thing I told Sagittarius. It will come when it's supposed to come. You guys need to learn patience. You guys are supposed to be focusing on yourselves. And then this new beginning happens when it's time. It's not time. And some of y'all are like, yo, it ain't never been time. Well, then it's never been time. That means you've been supposed to focus on whatever you've been focusing on until that time. Yeah. Some of you guys have been sitting a long ass time without somebody because y'all are so afraid that somebody is going to come in and cheat. And a lot of y'all, y'all holding yourselves back. You're being a bit too hard. But for others of y'all, it's because y'all keep, y'all are overdoing it. Y'all are overdoing it. It's like, you don't have to overanalyze the situation. You, some of you are thinking too far into what somebody is doing or what they're saying. It's like, yeah, you're reading behind the lines, but Gemini's are overthinkers and I feel like y'all overthink shit. Just to still end up not fucking knowing. Still not knowing. You overanalyze shit and still be wrong. Just stop. Relax. Take the seat in the back sometimes, okay? Absolutely. With the star card, hell. I feel like some of y'all are bitter. Some of y'all are very bitter. And the crazy part is with the seven of pentacles, you got money, but you're still bitter. Don't be that person. I had to get... Let me explain something to you. As me being a Gemini, me going through this shit too, sometimes I can be very bitter when it comes to other people or other relationships because you just get tired of going through shit. You get tired of going through shit and then you are always analyzing somebody because you want to know what the fuck they're doing before they do it. But that's not your job. That is God's job. That is Spirit's job. That is Source's job. Your job is to learn the lesson, whatever lesson that it is. But I feel like it's not for you to analyze every person to see if it's the past person because it's still going to happen. Some of you guys haven't been dating for 17, 18, 20 years because y'all been holding back from these lessons that you need to learn. Just fucking I'm not going to do nothing at all. Have fun. Live your life. You never know. You could, you could die tomorrow. You didn't even get a chance to experience nothing. But the heartbreak because that heartbreak kept you stagnant. Some of you guys need to travel, okay? Look at this, Knight of Wands, Two of Wands. Some of you guys have already thought about traveling, but have not really gotten your ass up to go do something. You guys need to go see some cool shit. Meet people who are cooler than you, okay? The Knight of Wands is a hoe, but he's cool, okay? That's why everybody wants to fuck him. <laughs> Be the Knight of Wands for a minute. Don't take relationships and life so serious, all right? So, thank you guys. I hope this helped. Have a good day.